My name is Ruthie Gallardo Owens. I'm the Teen Pregnancy Prevention Coordinator for Variety Care in Espera Mas. In 2009, um, Variety Care received a grant to help with, the teen, with teen pregnancy prevention in certain areas of Oklahoma City where teen pregnancy um, has become increasingly high. This initiative involves three different partners. Um, Variety Care is one of them, and their strengths are health services by providing open access appointments. Other than providing the open access and uh, appointments for family planning, we're also, we started offering lessons on sexual health, which became TLC. Um, after a while, TLC evolved into something a little bit different. The curriculum expanded. Uh, we started working with community partners with some of the schools in the area, and it's now Teen Clinic. Hello, uh, my name is Arturo Chavez. I'm a junior in high school. And I, from the program, I have learned about how to properly place a condom on a model and to the gross pictures of STDs and the symptoms and how all they look. And I definitely recommend this to anyone who wants to try it because you have nothing to lose, only a little bit more knowledge at the end of the day. Hi, my name is Arizona Melendez. I attend Santa Fe South Charter High School and I am 16 years old. I heard about it in school while I was walking down the hall. I saw Ruthie right there. She had kind of introduced me to what they were going to talk about and I got interested in it. Teen Clinic has the same basic concepts of TLC, but we have added some of the social and, and life skills that are needed in order to prevent a pregnancy. So we recently talked about um, different types of contraceptives. We discussed all of the different options that we have, such as abstinence, the pill, um, condoms, all of that. Um, did you find that helpful when it comes to making long-term choices? Yeah, most definitely, because it gives you like, it gives you many options to choose from. Like, you don't have to stick with one and just stay with it. You know, you can. There's always more possibilities for you. So if one doesn't work out, you can try the next one. So, yeah. Well, that's good. Um, do you feel that at Teen Clinic you um, you get the options of different kinds of birth control, but you also get the options of enough options to abstain? enough encouragement to say, no, well, this is not for me, or I want to wait. Yes, it gives me many options about what I can choose from, like dental dams and condoms and all that. We learned a lot about it. So, Araceli, um, have you brought friends? Is, is this something that you like to share with your friends, or is it just something for you? Well, I talk to a lot of my friends, and most of them go, but some of them don't have the time. But I still talk to them of, about what I learned and everything. We talk about many things like relationships, college, about sex and all, everything. I brought many friends to this clinic. They all enjoy it. The impact of Teen Clinic in our community so far has shown through attendance of teenagers, not only their attendance to our Variety Care Teen Clinic at Variety Care, but they are also um, large numbers in participation at the public schools. Well, Teen Clinic has a very laid back classroom environment. We have snacks, we have youth friendly chairs and activities. It makes it special because I am comfortable with the environment and with Ruthie and I like can ask her anything without being shy about it. It makes it special like because you don't have to talk to your parents you can talk to somebody else which yeah. makes it less awkward. For example Ruthie and like because it's less awkward to talk to her than to your parents and it gives like you know release some stress off of you. Yeah. If I didn't have Tim Clinic I wouldn't not talk to my parents. I would try to talk to my teachers, friends, anyone. My, one of my goals as well is to is for them to have the proper the appropriate information rather than getting it from their friends. Um, do you feel like you're a friend now that your your other friends can go to and you have the right information rather than just giving them 
anything off the top of your head or that you heard on TV? Well, yeah, because I was I was mainly the go to go to guy to my friends. So, well, at least I know I'll be able to back it up. But I tell them, I, and I encourage for them to set open goals such as attending college. And uh, I plan to move out of state, go to college out of state, probably somewhere in Colorado, probably see you. I well, I plan to go to college and then try to attend Harvard Medical School. I want to be a medical examiner. Um, Arturo, have you set any goals, Any have your goals changed at all since you started attending Teen Clinic? My goals are about the same, just uh, the way I'm going to get there, probably have like do more scholarships and then just go with the flow. <laughs> okay, and that is definitely one of the things that we want them to do. We want them to be able to be flexible in order to reach more goals because a lot of times whenever you're young and you set solid goals and you don't allow for flexibility, it's very hard for you to get around some of the obstacles that may come up. So it's definitely a good thing that they're open-minded to their goals. Um, we have created surveys which they are given after every class so we're able to track all of these all of the growth and the impact that this has had on our community. The, um, this week's lesson um, was on relationships. Okay. We did an exercise where we created the perfect guy, the perfect girl, and then we assessed where their current relationships are right now. Um, Araceli, what did you learn from that lesson? What was your the thing that stuck out the most? The thing that stuck out the most was that for us to have a perfect perfect boyfriend we, he should be respectful and honest to us and he shouldn't be stuck up he should be down to earth okay so and those are some of the qualities that you find to be good in a, in a boyfriend what did you find out about yourself when it comes to a relationship what do you think you have to work on well like I'm a guy well I'm not perfect, so I know I have to work on a lot, but I know to, like, like say I'm jealous, you know, I have to, like, willing to, like, get set back a little bit and find a girl that's not that way so we can, like, work out to get something, you know, you have to receive, well, to receive, you got to give, and, like, so basically that's it. My vision for Teen Clinic is to continue seeing it, seeing a growth and to continue seeing more and more youth in our community become involved in teen clinic. Um, it's becoming more and more of a social gathering where they're able to come in and have, have time with their friends and share important information. So I hope to continue to continue see that, to see that grow. I would like to see more pregnancies be prevented in the future due to the impact that we are having in the community. I would li definitely like to see the, the youth that are now coming to Teen Clinic reach their goals that they have set for themselves along with helping their friends reach theirs as well. Definitely, I would, I'm going to do more things differently than what I'm used to, change my agenda. Smart decision. Thank <laughs> you.